Okay, so there are different things I've seen within Super Smash Brothers. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but this uh, fan art about the Zelda franchise here, it's <laughs> its too much to look at. Okay, look, I, I don't mind what I did here, but this is my top 12 to, to 14 characters that I hope to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in the next couple DLCs that are to come until the very next game, if it's coming. Alright, let's get to it. Hello and welcome everyone, welcome to another game today. Here we are today. Now, these are some of the most likely or most unlikely characters to actually come into <laughs> to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now, number one, which is Goku. I don't care which form of Goku of Su Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Gods, or like just Ultra Instinct and Master to Goku, or just base form Goku. It doesn't matter which Goku it is from any era of Dr Dragon Ball. I just, <laughs> it's the funniest thing that I want to see for Super Smash Brothers. You know, like, <laughs> this is one of the main other roster characters that I want to see come to Super Smash Brothers. I don't care how overpowered he is, I don't care how broken he can be with a, with like, his centennial movement of uh, instant transmission. Like, I just want to see him with a spirit bomb or a combination of a Kamehameha and a Ultra Instinct Punch. Like, to see that finisher of a different kind of combination of moves, like, I would love to see that in Super Smash Brothers someday. Okay, so let's, let's get to number two, Batman. Now, we've seen different people. People try to make a Batman me character, which is a quite um, quite possible and quite plausible to see if a DC character can actually relate to a Super Smash Brothers game. We've seen so much hype on ba Batman DC DC EU or just DCU <laughs> franchises and can come together in the last uh, couple of years. But what I want to see is Batman it can come into, into the game and then his ultimate with just a, a something kind of like um, the uh, Super Smash from, from uh, Captain Falcon. He just get calls in the, the bat, bat wing and uh, he flies down into the air and just bombs the, the pe people with the bat bomb, right? Like that would be an amazing ultimate. Of like Batman okay so like it doesn't matter what his combination is like Mario snake or like uh, some, something really fun you know but I would just love to see this highly unlikely or most likely to to succeed of Batman and like that would be hilarious okay number three shadow the hedgehog We've seen him as an Easter egg. We've seen him as a trophy. We've seen him even on a sticker or a soul booster, right? But, like, we've never seen him come into Super Smash Brothers other than, than that. And I, I would think his Chaos Control or Chaos Burst attack would be really amazing because he can control all the Chaos Emeralds. Same as in Sonic. Sonic has mainly limitations to only use Chaos c Control. Or just uh, call upon the Chaos Emeralds and turn to Super Sonic. Or hi Hyper Sonic. Whatever. But Shadow the Hedgehog is a bit different. Like, he, he is really most likely to come into... Super Smash Brothers Ultimate as a DLC character. Now, what I want to see from him 
is uh, like just seeing him coming come into the battle. He has kind of the same moves as Sonic. The same spin dashes and, and whatever. It's most likely a different jump. Like he, he could teleport in some games, right? Like in Shadow, Shadow the Hedgehog, he can teleport. You see him as fast as he goes because of Chaos Emeralds. But also, he's a finisher. He is super finisher. I would love to see him use that, uh, use a red Chaos Emerald and just go like Chaos Rage. And he's boosted up a, a bit. He's way faster. You don't have to control him, but he can t teleport to, to as many pe people on the battlefield and punch them out, out or just knock them out with just like a glare and you to go flying, right? I think that's what his ultimate finisher should be. Now, you can argue with me on this, if that's a good or bad attack to have as a finisher, but I think that would be fun. Now, number four, Volga. Volga is absolutely amazing. And I, oh my gosh, like, hang on, guys. Here, here we go. Volga is absolutely amazing as a character in, uh, in the Legend of Zelda of different forms. When he became the first dragon on, um, on a Hookerin of Time. And we saw him yet again on uh, Skyward Sword. He came back. So that was amazing. And basically, I think his ultimate should be just a just to transform into that dragon, kind of like what what Ganondorf can do, but he can just only breathe in fire, and then, then he's a one and shot done. So that's it. Like I, I don't care what he does. Like <laughs> it's all it's all good for him because he's he's actually overpowered. And, um, mainly, yeah, that's, that's it for this guy, but his, his skill set should be relatively close to Captain Falcon, or relatively close to, um, G Ganondorf, maybe. And, like, I don't know, it's, it could be all good, good from there. So let's just get get to it though. Now, this is very unlikely, but I'm I'm hoping for it as well. Soul Caliber Nightmare, like this, this guy right here, has an outrageously amazing combat system in Soul Caliber or whenever he has pop popped up in the past. Past him fighting games, either as a DLC character, but mainly he's from Soul Calibur franchise. Yes, he's a villain. I don't care. He's my favorite character. Now, I, I know what you guys are thinking. Now, why bring in a Soul Calibur character? Well, not because he's my favorite or anything. I'm actually... Then thinking about what to do for different characters, like, he is actually, he should actually be super strong. Well, like, his body impenetrable, kind of like how G Ganondorf does, like, uh, guys, I'm going to be referencing different co combat systems and their you know, kind of immunity systems as well, so just bear with me on this. Um, I'm actually thinking, Thinking about about it right now, he's he could be actually even really fun. But with the big sword, he could only fight with his fist, kind of like Mario, I guess. But then, but the the body stature and his strength, like a Ganondorf or Donkey Kong, right? 
And then when he pulls out that big badass sword, it's like got flames on it for his ultimate. And he just swipes it like in Mars. And the whole place blows out into darkness and smoke. When he can, when the animation can, comes in around the can, character that they're surrounded by darkness, right? His sword goes right through them and just flashes them, them across the, the map. Now, what do you guys think about that for number five of this guy? Now, I, I think that would be amazing. Now, number six. Uh, Dr. Eggman. Now, we've seen him made fun of or just an Easter egg for, like, different Super Smash Brothers games ever since Sonic has come in. He's been a trophy on some, some things. He's been that trophy attack thing. Like, he, he's pop, popped out a, a couple times, and I'm going, like, why is he here, and why is he not a absolute badass of a main roster character, right? But, you know... I, I think he would be fun. I think for his um, combat system, he could tec technically be somewhere around, I wouldn't say Ness, but I I would say kind of like a Wario type ca character. He, he'd be kind of slow, kind of, kind of heavy, but his, his uh, automobiles of different... For floating uh, attacks and whatever, he could have some of those for some super attacks and when you hold, hold the button long enough. But for his ultimate, it could be kind of like King King King, King DDD, right? Or King K Rule. They just he, he just uh, runs into the opponent or slams into the opponent like he, those two do, right? And he could go on to the egg carrier and destroy the, the platform. And it could be just a fire explosion, right? So that's, that's him for number six. Now, number seven, again, highly unlikely, but I think, I think Jiren could be actually pretty useful for... For a Dragon Ball Super, Super character, for Super Smash Brothers as a DLC, highly un unlikely, but he, he could he could technically be a fighting type like a, a Captain Falcon, right? Just mashing uh, his power boost, but then his ultimate could be be like Mewtwo's. He just br brings up a fireball and blasts them uh, them out of the sky, right? Like, it could be fun for him. Number eight. <sighs> Metal Sonic. I can't believe, believe no one has d done this yet. I can't be certain, but I believe, I believe I've seen him as a trophy a couple times. But he, he should really be it. Be a part of the D DLC characters, right? Like, between him or this version of Metal Sonic, like, I I can't believe this. Like, how has no one stood out this much? Like, Metal Sonic. Again, he could be, like, between the two two versions of Sonic from the last couple of games. He could have the same moves and the same ultimate but in a robotic form. I mean, I I don't know what to say about, about this, because he he's overpowered. But which form of him would you like? The one from Sonic Heroes, or like the regular Metal Sonic? But anyways... Number 9, I believe. Anywho, Nathan Drake. I know, I know what you're thinking. Mostly 100% unlikely, but it would be really fun for him to come in. 
he could be like like, like the fighting kind of, kind of snake. He could have have different abilities of guns and RPGs and whatever. He could be really fun. His ultimate though, he could just you know, go up to to a character like run up and, like Martha or whatever, and shoot and the first animation and shoot him in the head, or bring his the RPG out to blow him up right. He t- tosses a g- gas can uh, against the person, and then he sh- shoots a- another like sh- shotgun at him, and then they blow up. That could could do like roughly about twenty to thirty damage, maybe. I I don't know, but having his skill set kind of like Snake, I I can see that happening to to, to Nathan Drake. Now, number number ten. Holy shit. I can't believe I'm saying this one. Meliodas of the Seven Deadly Sins. I know, this one is going to be ridiculously highly unlikely. But hear me out. He could have a fun ba- battle combination. He is a demon after all. Like, oh my god. I want to put his demon form in... Unless it's a ultimate, right? But for him, as a character in Super Smash Brothers, would be hilarious. <laughs> like I, I'm just having fun with this one. Like, oh my god, it's so so cool to see what I can see for Meliodas. Like, I. I don't know what his combat system could be like. I guess I'm I'm just taking a wild guess here, but but it could be between like maybe some, somewhere around the combat system of Young Link. Uh, he could be incredibly fast and whatever, and then his ultimate, his ultimate could be the demon form of full counter, like that. That would be outstandingly amazing okay what's next oh yes I remember number 11 please please God let this happen the original the original link from Ocarina of Time like please let this happen I will do another separate video on this as well just to talk about Link on what I think he, how he should come back for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC. Like all these guys could be DLC. Like I, I don't care when or where or how they come back in. Just, just bring some of these guys back in. Like come on. He should have the original skill set for, as in Toon Link and Young Link. He should have his original, original set from, like, Super Smash Bros. in 64, or Super Smash Bros. in Melee. I don't know. I don't care. I just want Link back. Now, number 12, The Flash. Come on. Who's with me here? The Flash would be excitingly awesome. Now... I'm thinking he can, he could be as fast as Captain Falcon, maybe faster, but his his skill set and set should be incredibly fast. And when he does his ultimate, they go into the to like the speed force. He goes incredibly fast, faster than he's ever gone. And smacks them around it into the speed force. And then right as it's ending, right? Right when the finisher is ending. He drops down, down out of the speed force with the, with the character, whoever he grabs. Uh, and slams them into the ground. Now, what would you think of the Flash coming in as a DLC character? And uh, just having that... Kind of ultimate. Okay. So. Oh, whoops. Now. The final one. Number th- 13, I believe. Yes. Wild Luigi. 
We've seen him teased so many times. Like, come on. This is getting ridiculous, right? Like, why has he not come in? Like, oh my god. I, I can't believe we haven't seen Waluigi come in to the roster yet. Like, I, I don't understand this. He's, he should really be in the main roster for, for crying out loud. They've had Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers and Melee, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Now Super Smash Brothers Switch, which is Ultimate, and they've also had time in Super Smash Brothers DS3, right? Like, come on, like, why is he still a trophy? And why is he like some side char character uh, attack a trophy thing? Like, how has he not been reintroduced as a main roster character? Like, are these people stupid or something? Like, come on. Not to rant about, about Nintendo like this, but please, for the love of God, bring in Waluigi. They already brought in Wario for crying out loud. <sighs> but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you guys thought about this list, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>